rock in my head. I keep the law just like I said. I ain't no zombie walking dead. I told life like Moses said. I got the law locked in my head. I keep the law just like I said. I ain't no zombie walking dead. I told life like Moses said. I'm a man now, it's too no worth the hands down I talk the talk, I walk the walk, I don't just stand around I make things happen cause I keep God first You think your job is something, teach me about with hard work I'm a Israelite, that's right, I bring the truth out Don't number y'all's laws, come out, this he rules mouth No lie, I'ma die for the most high And prophesy your how it shines, then it's close by You can't want to repent your sins, you wanna know why? The most high Morning. got the power to Morning. make the soul cry why you riding around town everything. like so That's fly? right. Oh, what the spirit's going down, you better choose your side. Wake up, you're just like, wake up. My people follow oh, this God, one so commandment in the Bible. It would eliminate black on black crust. It would eliminate drug dealers. I got the law locked in my head. I keep the law just like I said. I ain't no zombie walking dead. I told life like Moses said. I got the law locked in my head. I keep the law just like I said. I ain't no zombie walking dead. Going into into light. Keep the command. All right, John 7 and 35. Is that what I want? Yeah, 5 and 30. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Sorry. Because that's another lie. We're out here to tear down the lies with this Bible. You got to understand the precepts of man, Christianity, Islam, all these other doctrines are man made doctrines. This Bible is not man made. The Most High God put the Spirit on His prophets, the Israelites, to create this Bible. Psalm 16 11. All right? Read what you got. John chapter 5, verse 30. Uh -huh. I can of my own self do nothing. So Christ right here is saying, He cannot of His own self do nothing. So He's saying, Guys, I'm not God. That's what He just, that's what He's saying right here. He said, I'm not God. Read. I hear, I judge. Uh huh. And my judgment is just. Read. Because I seek not. My own will. So if Christ is not seeking his own will, whose will is he seeking? God's will, read. But the will of the Father which have sent me. So are they the same person? No, they're not the same person. That's not in the Bible. That's precepts of men. All right, when was we before that? You remember? Any other questions? Let's answer questions. Anybody got any other questions? So, so saying um, we're Israelites and then we're enslaved by every other nation, before um, the colonies came in. Let's go Psalms 83. Yeah. Exactly. That's where we was at. That's where we good. Thank you for remembering. Yes, we were slave. Um, uh, the re the most recent one before 1600s, um, Transatlantic, was the Sub-Saharan. That was when the Ara Arabs and the Africans had us enslaved. Yeah, we got 83, then we'll go to Joel 3. So, go over that with you. chapter 83, verse 2. Uh-huh. For lo, thine enemies make it to mo. Read. And they that hate thee they have lifted up their head. They that hate us have lifted up their head. The other nations hate us. Why do y'all think they hate us? Think, think about this one second. Why y'all think the other nations don't like us? We're the chosen people of God. I'd be pretty pissed off too. Real. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel against God's people. Real. And consulted against thy hidden. They have consulted against God's hidden ones. You should know this. Why? Does he, why are we called his hidden ones in this passage? Why are we hidden? Uh, because we're dispersed in many different areas of the world. Exactly, because we're scattered everywhere. That's why he says, my hidden ones. Guys, this is not the first time we've been scattered in other nations. This has been going on for thousands of years. Right. Because we are a stiff-necked and rebellious people. We, do you think it's the first time we broke God's laws and got punished? This has been going on since day one. Read. They have said, come. And let us cut them off. Do what? Come and let us cut them off. So the other nation said, come and let us cut the Israelites off from what? From being a nation. From being a nation. At one point, we were known as the nation of Israel. We had a land. We lived in Israel. We were the Israelites. You had the Southern Kingdom and the Northern Kingdom. What's up, brother? The titles. The, t the titles. It's not a name. It's not a name. It's titles. It's, um, I don't know. Whoever. I'm sorry. What about the Palestinians that are fighting? So who are they? The Palestinians, the Arabs. 
Those are the Arabs according to the Bible. And they're they, fighting the Khazars, the converted Jews. Exactly. And we're, about, we're going to read that next. <laughs> Good question. What do you have, brother? Oh, I was about to say the same thing. So the, the Jews that are in Israel are the converted Jews? Yes. And they're fighting for the land that... They're the fighting against the Arabs, Arabs yes. Okay. Because the Arabs was there. And in the Holocaust, because the wicked rule the earth, the so-called white man, they put them in uh, Israel in 1942. No, was it 48? 47, okay, 47, I'm sorry. So they put them in Israel for a political game, all right? And the Arabs have been pissed. They've been warned ever since because the Arabs was living there before the fake Khazar Jews came in the 40s. So they've been fighting ever since. Because the Arabs pushed the Israelites, us, out. No, 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 they didn't push us out. The Romans pushed us out in 70 AD. We can get that too. We can huh? Yeah, we'll do Joel first. So, so okay, so we're going to cover a few points. Where you at? Joel chapter 3, verse 1. All right. For behold, in those days, and in that time, I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So that's the captivity of the southern kingdom, which consisted of, uh, is, I'm sorry, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, which is so-called blacks, uh, Haitians, and West Indians today. Right? Read. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. So this is prophetic because this, at this point in time, didn't happen, but this was a prophecy. So the first prophecy said we, our captivity would happen again. That happened, but the valley of Jehoshaphat with the Middle East, talking about World War Three, has not happened yet. I'm gonna show you how, read. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. So the Most High God in the last days, World War Three. He's going to gather all nations to the Valley of Jehoshaphat in the Middle East for World War III. And he's going to plead for us. How do y'all think the Most High God pleads? Got that Isaiah? How do y'all think God pleads? Does he, he's like, oh, please give my people back. Y'all think he pleads like that? What y'all think he do? Okay. He's in all the different places and stuff. Exactly. He wrecks shop. He puts havoc on the other nations when he pleads for us. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 16. This is pleading. This is how God pleads. Read. For by fire and by his sword right. will the Lord plead with all flesh. With all flesh. So don't get it twisted. When Christ come back, the other nation is going to try to fight him. But what is he going to do? He's going to put him to death. All right? And the slave of the Lord shall be many. Shall be few. Shall be many. It's going to be many people dead on the day of the Lord. It's not what the Christian church teaches, all right? Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, I'm so happy. Oh, no, the day of the Lord is death. It's a dark day. It's going to be very ugly and gruesome if you're not on his side. All right, let's go back. And for my heritage, Israel. Where you at? Joel chapter 3, verse 2. All right, we know. Whom they have scattered among the nation. Read. And parted my land. And parted his land. What were we just talking about? Palestine and the fake Jews today, they did what? Have parted my land. They have parted God's land. Read. And have cast lots for my people. They have cast lots for his people. You know what casting lots is? Sold them exactly. Uh, uh, this slave to Jackson, Mississippi. This slave to uh, Florida. This that's casting lots. Twenty-five sold to uh, Mr. Smith of Jacksonville. That's casting lots for us. They was on the auction blocks. I mean, we was on the auction blocks. They was casting lots. Read. And have given up boy. Boy, have given a boy from a harlot that means a boy for a breeder this big buck slave we're gonna breed more big slaves from him this is all documented uh, the big black males we was used as breeders so we would have sex with all the women and keep reproducing big slaves to do more work read and so the girl for what and so the girl for why they would sell one of our israelite women so they can have oranges with them and in exchange for why read that they might drink uh-huh and yet, what had he to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? So the most I got is, what did you have to do with me, O African? Those are African nations. Read. And all the coast of Palestine. All the coast of who? Of Palestine. The Palestinians, the Arabs. All the coast of the Arabs. What do y'all have to do with me? That's what God's saying. Read. Will ye render me a recompense? So are you, so you going to, um, you trying to come back at me because I didn't choose you? Read. And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, well, I return your recompense upon your own head. Uh-huh. Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried it to your temple, my goodly 
pleasant thing. That's what every other nation did. Whenever they spoiled us, put us in captivity, they took all of our things from our temples and they took it into theirs. Read. The children also of Judah uh -huh. and the children of Jerusalem Read. have ye sold unto the Grecians. Who are the Grecians? The so called. Who's ruling today? Don't be scared to say white people say it. White people? The white people. That's the Greeks, right. the Romans, the Americans, the English, the British, the Portuguese. That's so who? The children also of Judah. Uh huh. And the children of Jerusalem. Have ye sold to who? Have ye sold unto the Grecians? All of this is historical evidence. Read them in this Bible. Y'all just don't realize how true this book is. Why? Because we were taught wrong. Think about it. We couldn't read or write. And then when we did read or write, they said, no, nigga, that's wrong. This is how it's supposed to be understood. Think about it. What you think that's all right? All right. Brother, finna bring something out. But yeah, brothers, that's why we out here. Jeremiah 1 and 10. We out here to pull down all of the lies y'all been taught. All right? Because according to this Bible, I read for the It says, the miseducation of the Negro, page 49. All right, start from the, okay. It says, what the Negro church is, however, has been determined largely by what the white man has taught. Largely by what? By what the white man has taught. So this book, he goes in detail of how the black church and how the black education system was set up. This man did extensive research. And he came up with the conclusion of what we learned today and why we still so destroyed, all right? Read it again from the top. What the Negro church is. So what the church is today. However, has been determined largely by what the white man has taught the race by precept and example. So what we have learned today and what our pastors teach us today is largely taught by our presence. Read. We must remember that the Negroes learned their religion. The Negroes what? The Negroes learned their religion. So when we first read this Bible, we didn't have the correct understanding. We learned this religion from the early white Methodists and Baptists. From the early white Methodists and Baptists today. Oh, I'm an AME, I'm a Baptist, I'm a Methodist. You learned that from your slave master. Right. Read. Who evangelized the slaves and the poor whites. Who evangelized who? The slaves and the poor whites. The originate of your, of your black church. Read. When they were barred from proselytizing and aristocracy. All right, so they, were, they couldn't teach the upper, upper echelon of the white people because they couldn't teach them that God because they understood the Bible. Read. The American white people uh -huh. themselves taught Negroes to specialize unduly in the praise of the Lord, hallelujah worship. They did what? The American white people. The American white people, listen. This is how your church is, why it's like that in the church today, read. The American white people themselves uh -huh. taught Negroes to specialize. They taught them to specialize. Unduly in the praise of the Lord. In the praise of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship. Worship. The white man taught us that. He taught us how to sing and dance. He, we learned that from our brothers. Do you get what he said? So now when the brothers going deep into these prophecies, we look at it like this is something that's born. But it's been there the whole time. We got to examine our history, all right? In the West Indies, uh -huh. among the Anglicans uh -huh. and among the Latin people. So, among, in the, in the uh, Northern Kingdom, don't read. And the Latin people, Negroes do not show such emotionalism. Negroes don't what? Negroes do not show such emotionalism. Why? Because only on this side of the earth we were taught to sing and dance like that. But in, in, in uh, South America, what did they teach them? They taught them Catholicism. You don't see the same type of worship down there because they had different slave masters. Right. But they like to say, oh, the black man, the Latin man, they just spiritual people. No, we are spiritual people, but the reason we're like that is because that's what we were taught. Right. That's what we were trained to do. Right. Just like if you teach a dog tricks, that's what he's going to do. It wasn't just innately in him. You taught him that.
Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.